Welcome to The Last of Their Kind, where we explore Earth's most extraordinary biological adaptations. Today, we're diving into the elite class of animals that don't just bite or sting, they poison you through mere contact or consumption. Before we begin our countdown of the 10 most poisonous animals on Earth, let's clarify something crucial that many people get wrong, the difference between poisonous and venomous. Venomous creatures actively deliver toxins through injection. Think fangs, stingers, or spines. Poisonous animals, which we're focusing on today, deliver toxins passively, through touch, ingestion, or even inhalation. Their deadliness lies in their biochemistry, not their weapons. In the next 10 minutes, discover creatures so toxic that antidotes are still being developed. Despite its diminutive stature, the golden poison dart frog should never be underestimated. Measuring a mere 2 inches in length, this amphibian holds the distinction of being among the most dangerous animals on the planet. Its vibrant, eye-catching yellow hue is far from an aesthetic choice. It is a crucial signal, a natural warning sign developed through countless generations. This conspicuous coloration serves as a clear indication of the frog's toxic nature a biological hazard sign refined by evolution over millions of years to deter potential predators. Historically, the indigenous tribes of Colombia recognized and utilized the potent venom of these frogs. They carefully collected the toxins secreted by the frog's skin, employing them to enhance the effectiveness of their blow darts, essential tools for hunting and survival. This practice is, in fact, the very origin of the frog's descriptive name, poison dart frog, the sheer potency of the frog's venom is staggering. A minuscule amount of their specific toxin, known as batrachotoxin, is sufficient to cause death in a human adult. It takes only approximately 200 micrograms of this substance, a quantity significantly smaller than a single grain of common table salt, to deliver a fatal dose. A fascinating aspect of the golden poison dart frog is that, unlike many other poisonous creatures, the level of toxicity it exhibits is not constant. Instead, its toxicity is heavily dependent on factors such as its diet and the specific characteristics of its habitat. This means that a frog's environment directly influences its ability to produce and accumulate toxins. In a controlled environment such as captivity, these frogs undergo a remarkable transformation. Captive-bred golden poison dart frogs deprived of their natural diet of poisonous insects found in the wild will gradually lose their toxicity. This loss of toxicity highlights the critical link between the frog's diet in its natural environment and the production of its deadly poison. Poisons generally fall into three categories, each targeting different systems in the victim's body. Neurotoxins attack the nervous system, leading to paralysis. Hemotoxins destroy blood cells and tissue. Cytotoxins kill cells directly, causing necrosis. Many poisonous animals don't even produce their own toxins. They're biological pirates, sequestering compounds from their diet and repurposing them for defense. This process, called bioaccumulation, allows them to become toxic without expending energy to synthesize poisons themselves. Now let's meet the 10 most poisonous creatures on Earth, ranked by the potency of their toxins and the threat they pose to humans. Our journey into the world of poisonous animals begins in the humid undergrowth of East Asia, home to the Asian tiger snake, or tiger keelback. This striking serpent, adorned with vibrant orange and black bands, possesses a defense mechanism that sets it apart from most of its kin. The Asian tiger snake breaks all the rules by being both venomous and poisonous. It delivers venom through its bite, a cocktail of neurotoxins that paralyze its prey, but it also stores deadly toxins within its skin a defense mechanism rarely seen in the snake world. These toxins originate from its diet of poisonous toads, repurposing those compounds for its own defense. This two-pronged approach makes the Asian tiger snake a formidable force in its ecosystem. From the shadowy forest floor we ascend into the canopy, where a symphony of birdsong fills the air. But amidst this chorus of beauty lurks a danger as unexpected as it is deadly. This is the hooded pitohui, a denizen of the rainforests of Papua New Guinea and one of the few poisonous birds known to science. Its vibrant orange and black plumage belies a deadly secret. The hooded pitohui contains batrachotoxins, causing intense burning and numbness upon contact. Researchers discovered their toxicity in 1992 when biologists handling the birds experienced these symptoms firsthand. 
The pitohui likely acquires its toxins through its diet from insects and beetles that consume poisonous plants or fungi. The hooded pitohui stands as a testament to the power of poison in the animal kingdom. Our journey now takes us from the lush rainforest to the coral reefs, vibrant ecosystems teeming with life. Here in the turquoise depths, we encounter a creature of grace and beauty, the hawksbill sea turtle. These ancient mariners are a sight to behold, but their beauty masks a hidden danger. The critically endangered hawksbill sea turtle's flesh becomes highly toxic due to their diet of poisonous marine sponges and algae. Consuming hawksbill meat can lead to marine turtle poisoning, causing severe gastrointestinal distress. Historically, this didn't prevent hunting, contributing to their endangered status today. Their beautiful shells, once highly prized for jewelry, led to widespread exploitation. The hawksbill sea turtle stands as a stark reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the unintended consequences of human actions. From the depths of the ocean, we journey inland to the sun-baked plains of Australia, a land shaped by extremes. Here, we encounter the cane toad, a creature whose story is a cautionary tale of unintended consequences. Introduced to Australia for pest control in 1935, these South American natives have become one of the world's most destructive invasive species. Their parotid glands produce bufotoxin, a potent poison affecting the heart and nervous system. Even their eggs and tadpoles are toxic, creating a complete life cycle of poison. A single female can lay up to 30,000 eggs in one breeding cycle, and they breed year-round. The cane toad's impact on the Australian environment has been catastrophic, affecting native wildlife and ecosystems. The cane toad exemplifies how human intervention can go catastrophically wrong. Our journey now takes us beneath the waves once more, this time to the warm, shallow waters of the Indo-Pacific region. Here, we encounter the Comb Star, a seemingly innocuous creature that harbors a deadly secret. The Comb Star harbors one of the most potent neurotoxins known to science, tetrodotoxin. Just one gram of Comb Star flesh contains enough toxin to kill 520 mice. The toxin is particularly deadly because it is odorless, tasteless, and heat-stable. Tetrodotoxin causes paralysis while leaving victims fully conscious. There is currently no known antidote making an encounter with this Indo-Pacific echinoderm potentially fatal. The comb star's toxicity serves as a potent defense mechanism, deterring predators and ensuring its survival. From the tropical reefs, we journey to the temperate rainforest of the Pacific Northwest. Here we encounter the rough-skinned newt, a creature that embodies the ongoing struggle between predator and prey. Its skin is coated in a potent neurotoxin, tetrodotoxin, at concentrations high enough to kill an adult human. Evolution has created a fascinating arms race between these newts and their primary predator, the garter snake. Some snake populations have developed resistance to the newt's poison, forcing the newts to become even more toxic. This evolutionary back and forth has resulted in some of the most toxic newts and the most resistant snakes found anywhere on Earth. The rough-skinned newt stands as a testament to the power of natural selection. We return now to the coral reefs this time to the vast expanse of the Indo-Pacific. Here, we encounter the striated surgeonfish, a creature whose toxicity is a consequence of its place in the food chain. These fish acquire their toxicity through their diet of algae that harbor toxins. Their flesh contains ciguatoxin, responsible for ciguatera poisoning. This toxin accumulates in the tissues of fish, eventually making its way up the food chain to larger predators, including humans. Symptoms of ciguatera poisoning can persist for months or even years, causing neurological symptoms that can recur unexpectedly. The striated surgeonfish serves as a reminder that even seemingly harmless creatures can pose a threat to human health. Our journey now takes us to the tropical waters of Australia, home to some of the most venomous creatures on Earth. Here we encounter the box jellyfish, a creature whose beauty is as mesmerizing as it is deadly. The box jellyfish possesses one of the most potent venoms on the planet. Trailing behind are dozens of tentacles, each armed with millions of stinging cells that deliver a potent cocktail of toxins. Their toxins attack multiple body systems simultaneously, causing cardiovascular collapse, respiratory failure, and excruciating pain. The venom is designed to rapidly overwhelm prey, causing paralysis and death within minutes. The pain from a box jellyfish sting is said to be excruciating, 
and in many cases victims go into shock or suffer cardiac arrest before they can even reach the shore. The box jellyfish stands as one of the most dangerous marine creatures on Earth. Our final destination takes us to the coastal waters of Japan, a land of ancient traditions and a deep respect for the ocean's bounty. Here we encounter the pufferfish, a creature whose toxicity is legendary, yet whose flesh is considered a delicacy. The pufferfish's toxin tetrodotoxin is approximately 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide. A single pufferfish contains enough toxin to kill 30 adult humans. Despite this extreme toxicity, pufferfish or fugu is considered a delicacy in Japan, where only specially licensed chefs can prepare it. The preparation of fugu is a highly skilled art, requiring the chef to carefully remove the toxic organs while leaving the flesh intact. Even then, dozens of diners suffer poisoning each year. The pufferfish stands as a testament to the delicate balance between life and death. If you found this exploration of nature's most poisonous creatures fascinating, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to join us on our journey through Earth's biological wonders. The natural world is full of surprises, and we're only just beginning to scratch the surface of its secrets. In the comments below, let me know which of these toxic animals surprised you most, or what other dangerous creatures you'd like to learn about in future videos. Your curiosity and engagement help shape the stories we tell, and the wonders we explore together. For those interested in learning more, I've included research sources in the description below. Until next time stay curious, but maybe keep your distance from these particular animals. Remember, while these creatures may be deadly, they are also integral parts of their ecosystems, playing vital roles in the delicate balance of nature.